Hey there guys and dolls and welcome back to Get Going Fast, the place where we're getting to this excellent hobby AI in a quick and efficient manner in which you actually might learn something. So hey, uh, today we are getting back to our chat bots. We're going to get back to an LLM that actually is a pretty darn good programmer. Okay, it's something we're going to be looking at, something called GLM. And uh, this is going to be a pretty quick uh, tutorial here. We're going to use Cobalt CPP to load this bad boy up. I'm going to show you the settings you need. And then I'm just going to let you loose to just do some one-shot programming. And we're going to talk about what one-shot programming is as well. But first, before you do that, thanks for liking the channel um, and uh, liking the video, sharing it with people. Really is an excellent hobby. So I do appreciate you pulling in your buddies uh, and being like, they're like, hey, you want to go to the pub? You want to do this? You're like, no, not any longer, yo. But I do want to work on some AI. You want to get down? What's up? And, uh, and be like, it's cool, yo, right? And so getting them in and pulling them into that. Appreciate you doing that, man. And you're going to have a lot of fun too when you get a buddy to work with this. So, all right, well, we are gonna move forward with the tutorial. Uh, do like us over on the X. Uh, you can find us as CogniBuild. We're on Instagram as CogniBuild. You can come over to Reddit. Reddit is a bag of scum, but uh, it is a good place to get information. And we have a safe haven there called Get Going Fast. And come find us on the Discord as well. You're welcome to um, hang out with us during the day so as well also with your buddies if you want to get a membership for your buddies to join them 12 bucks get them a farmhand membership and that's as much as buying them something from mcdonald's for the day so yo and then it's practical all right well let's get on with the getting on here and get to yoing with the yoing Okay, so as I mentioned, we're going to be doing some one-shot programming with GLM. And what is one-shot programming, you ask? Well, I am glad that you did ask that. Uh, one-shot pretty much means that we want this thing in one go to create an app for us, okay? We want to type in, say, do it, and in one shot, we pretty much want to get what we want to get. Now, there's a reason why we talk about one-shot programming when we're using our local LLMs, and that has to do with a... Um, um, a concept called context okay so context is think of it like a bowl like uh, you have a bowl of a certain size and that bowl can hold only so much milk and cereal in it okay now when we're talking to our large language models um, we fill up that bowl the cereal and the milk is tokens we is words that we're using okay is the words it gives us back to that we send to it the words it sends back to us all those things start to fill up this bowl and when we're talking with local LLMs, our bowl is fairly small, so that bowl fills up quickly. Now, what happens with LLMs is when that context, that bowl fills up, it starts to take the, the it's like a first in, first out thing. So the first stuff in there, once it gets full, it says, well, let's start getting rid of the old stuff so that we can bring in new stuff. And so it's like... Um, if I was having a conversation with you, and this is a very likely situation, and at the beginning of the conversation, I say, what's your name? And you say, oh, my name is, you know, John uh, Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. And I go, okay, hey, well, that's my name too. But um, we get going on with the conversation. And after several minutes, I go, oh, what was your name again? Because my context filled up and I dumped out the other information to sort the new stuff. And so LLMs are similar. So the concept of one-shot programming becomes important when we're dealing with local LLMs because the context is small and the more we send in there to fix, the more likely it is it's going to forget important information. Now, that doesn't mean that we can't do any tweaking with it, but it does mean that pretty much we want to kind of get in and get out, you know, while we can, okay? Things like Grok and ChatGPT have massive contexts. So you can, I think at Grok, uh, you can throw in like 10 copies of War and Peace. I mean, that's a, that's a huge ball, okay? Um, but with our local LLMs, as great as they are, yeah. so, uh, so we're going to look at this GLM. I'm going to show you how to download that like I um, said. Now, I again, I'm going to typically not in like... Um, I'm going to typically not like running programming models off my local LLM just because, again, Grok is so good, ChatGPT, Claude is so good. But I'm going to tell you, this model that we're going to load up here is actually quite good. And it's a large, uh, it's got several billion, so 32 billion uh, mo um, parameter model. We are going to have to use a very heavily quantized version of it. Um, but it actually, this is the best that I have seen. 
okay um, and which is why I'm bringing it to you and you can actually do some cool stuff with this okay especially if you're really into um, building your own um, bot system on your thing this is a great model to have okay I don't know that I would use this for on a production level if I was getting paid uh, for something but um, I certainly can make some fun stuff and I'm going to show you some of the fun stuff we've made with it here um, this is all one shot stuff this was a little leet calendar so leet of course is kind of hacker language so I can say get going fast I just told it to make it and it made it okay I can translate to leet and here we go down here you see it translated it get going fast okay and it made a little um, thing for us here okay so that was all one shot I made this little ASCII converter over here so you can take an image like uh, this and it'll turn it into ASCII okay and you can make it colored you can do all this stuff set the width make it bigger you know all this kind of good whoops all this kind of good stuff that you can uh, that you can do and that was all one shot and i made a little joke thing here it's a fake system virus thing so you send this to your buddy virus detected scanning files and then it just goes through there and it looks like it's deleting it so this is like an old school 80s joke uh you know and they're, it's like deleting deleting. and they're like whoa oh my god what's happening computer hard drive erase so, okay obviously it's a joke now this thing is not going to create viruses for you and don't do that that's immoral to do that but this was a joke uh to do it see it just starts over but this is the kind of stuff you can make little things with okay so really cool app um and i'm going to show you how we're going to run this in cobalt where we go in cobalt cpp so we're going to go ahead and um, actually have it download it for us and then we are going to um set get the settings and then we'll go in and make something real easy okay Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to open up our Cobalt CPP and we're going to pop on over to this where it says um, GGUF text model. This is where we load our models. Normally you have to go to Hugging Face and download the model, but they have added this search button. So we're going to press SAFS search and it is going to bring up this window right here. Okay, so let me see if I can make that a little bigger for you. Okay, now. This is what we're going to do. I want you to type. We're going to type GLM and then we're going to type obliterated. So they spelled obliterated wrong, I guess. But we're going to type with an A. We're going to hit search for Huggy Face. Now, notice it's going to bring up a bunch of these. Okay. Now, these are ones not, these aren't going to work. Notice these are all 9 billion. So, what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and, whoops, we're going to cancel this out and we're going to go back up here and type 32. Now it's going to come find the 32B model. So I'm going to go down here probably to this guy, Mr. Adermacher, because just because I know about this guy, does good quants. So we're going to grab that. And now notice it's going to populate this down here. Now, because this is a big model, I'm running a 4090, and 4090s can typically run stuff pretty good, but 32 is, is too big for my thing. So I'm going to go all the way down to a Q3. And I'm going to grab this K underscore S because that's the smallest one. So I'm going to click that. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit confirm selection. Then it pops us back over to here. Okay. And you're going to notice that it uh, filled in that spot. Now let me see if I can fix this a little bit. There we go. Okay. So it's going to uh, fill in this. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I already have it downloaded. I don't want to download it again. Don't want to make you wait for that. So I'm just going to go over. If you already have stuff downloaded, you can just go over, you find it, and you load it like this. Oh, actually, look at that. I grabbed the Q4 KS. The Q4 will work fine if you run the same thing. Now, I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to click Use Flash Attention. That's going to speed it up just a little bit for us, okay? Then I'm going to add my context size. Remember, context size has to do with the bowl. I'm going to put this up to about 12. I might be able to put it up higher, but let's just start with 12, okay? And I'm going to click the launch button. Now, this will go over to here. Let me show you what's going on over here. And you're going to see it went ahead and it oh, you know, had this command prompt. It went through there, and it's going to set up our Cobalt CPP for us. So now if we pop on over to our browser, we're going to see that it popped up to here. Okay, now normally it's going to ask you right off the bat what um, 
format you want everything displayed in. So use the one that's called Corpo. If you already have it set, you can just click up here on your settings. This is format and then just grab your style Corpo. So this is best probably for what we're doing here. Classic theme is nice if you're just playing around uh, doing chatbot stuff, but we kind of want this corporate theme. It's going to work good for what we're trying to do. So we'll press OK. Now, we don't want to just go in here and start, um, what do you call it, writing stuff yet, because we need, uh, to, again, to set an output. We need to make sure that it gives us enough information when we do stuff. So what we'll do is we're going to click back into settings, okay, and we're going to click over here onto samplers. Now, when you open this up, you're going to see up here at the top right, it says max output, okay? This is going to be load on here. You want to max that out because that's basically saying only say so much. But when we're talking about code, it's going to give us a bunch of code, and it's probably going to run out of context before we have to restart it and have it continue. So we don't want to do, rather than restarting it 10 times, let's have it restart it four times, right? So by opening up our output, Again, it's kind of like the bowl concept. It's going to be able to speak more to us. Now, the other thing is you're going to have this temperature up here, and this temperature is going to be up around 0 0.7, 0 0.8. This is for when you're actually talking with a chat bot just so that it says interesting things. But since we're using the programmer and thing, we don't want it to say interesting things. We want it to say factual things. Uh, so let's, we'll move this down to around the 0 0.2 area, okay? And then all we got to do is we just press OK. And now we're ready. So normally with these things, you could click over on the context and you could say like, you are an expert programmer or you know, you are a Valley Girl Pirate with a Lisp or whatever. But we don't really need to do it. This model is made for that. So now all we gotta do is throw in an app like this. So we can write something like, let's, let's do something in HTML5 just because it's so easy to test. We'll say using HTML5 create a universe model of a swirling of swirling stars. Um, allow for it to be sped up and to be slowed down. Give a zoom in and zoom out function. The app starts. in the default running state. Okay, and let's just put that in there. And now notice it's going to, because now I gotta probably have to pause my thing because I've got so much AI stuff going, it's competing. It should go faster than this with you, but notice it says, I'll create a beautiful HDMI universe model with swirling stars. Okay, and you're gonna see that this came up with the first page. Now that started blanking out, so I'm not sure how much of you of that you heard, I have so much AI stuff going on. So you'll notice it said, I'll create a beautiful HTML5 model swirling stars. You can control the speed and zoom level of. So it starts it out, okay, and it went down here, but notice it didn't finish it, okay? That's because it ran out of context. So we're just gonna go down here and click this button and it's gonna continue again. Now, every time it runs like this, you just keep pressing this button to add to it until it finishes. And you'll know when it's finished because it'll stop booting code and it'll start using words again. So I think I'll just run this, I'll pause the video, run this, and then um, we can see it when it's done, okay? Okay, and coming back, notice that it finished, and you can tell it down here, it starts to get into explaining. Code's all here, and look at it, put it in a white box for us. So we can highlight it all. In fact, if we go all the way to the top, we don't even have to, it's got a copy button. So we'll click this, okay? Then what we can do is we can go to our uh, to our desktop and create a file and copy this into it. So let's uh, let's do that real quick. All right. So let's uh, this is on our desktop here. I'm just going to right click. And I'm going to go new text document and let's just call this um, universe .html. Okay. I'm going to change it. Then I'm going to go ahead and open it up and right click on it. Go edit in Notepad. And it's going to pop up something that looks like this. Hold on just one second. Okay. And let's just paste it in there. Okay. Now all we got to do is save it. Um, and then we'll go back to our file explorer. And then we're just going to double click it. Okay. And that will open up to our browser. And there we go. There's a swirly universe. We can speed it up. We can slow it down. 
can zoom in and zoom out. So that's pretty cool. That was all one shot programming. That's pretty well done. Okay. Now, obviously you could make it better and have it have meaning, but um, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Okay. You could obviously use this for a website. You could have this thing help you with websites. You could have it create um, visuals for your website. You could do this in Python if you wanted to have it do it in Python. Really pretty much whatever you want to do. One shot programming. And it did it. And it did that fast. And it did it well. And it worked. This is a, a blend. This is GLM 32B obliterated. At the end of the day, too, if you wanted to make it better and, and you're having a difficult time with this, take the code, throw it into Grok or something like that and have it fix it up even better but um, I think one of the cool things about this is that really if you're into making your own bot system this is local on your computer not connected to the internet not connected to anyone else programming model that actually works and that to me is kind of a big deal so all right well I hope you guys enjoyed that um, I would love to see the kind of stuff that you're making with it so come over to the discord and share it with us if you have any questions come back around and let us know if you did like the video or not feel free to send one of them super stickers that keeps us going down the road pats us on the back with a couple bucks keeps us coming back for more but uh, honestly i love this ai stuff i'd keep coming back regardless so you guys hang in there we will catch up with you on the other side and uh, as always yo